And the, the number one regret that people had, people who were dying, who knew that they were crossing over and making their transition, the top regret of, was I wish I'd have had the courage to live the life that I knew I was destined to live. In other words, that I had a purpose, that I knew that there was something greater that I came here to do, that I signed up for something other than just to fit in and to, to go along and to follow somebody else's rules. You're still here. And you get another chance. This day. This day that you have been graced to breathe in and out thousands of times. This day where many of those breaths were taken for granted. You just expected the next one to come. But the truth is there's no guarantee that the next one comes. This day to do better and be better another chance to become more of who you were created and what you were created to fulfill. Most of us are not, uh, don't allow ourselves the freedom to listen to those internal callings. Those things that we all feel are just so important to us. People torment themselves by how they see their life. They've told themselves a story as if it were the truth when it is really a perspective truth. You, you wrote the script, changed the story. You have the freedom to think anything you want. Why would you ever want to belittle yourself? You have to give yourself permission to accomplish your dreams, permission to get out of debt, permission to overcome that obstacle. It starts in our thinking. Choose to dwell on thoughts that empower you inspire you, encourage you, thoughts that give you joy, faith, victory. When you wake up in the morning, you need to set your mind for victory. Set your mind for success. Our attitude should be, this is going to be a great day. God's favor is on my life. I'm excited about my future. Every day we get to choose what kind of attitude we're going to have. We can choose to be happy, look on the bright side, expect good things, believe that our dreams will come to pass, or we can choose to be negative, focus on our problems, dwell on what didn't work out, live worried and discouraged. It's a choice that we all make. Set your mind for victory. Set your mind for increase. Set your mind for good breaks. Start expecting your plans to work out. Expect people to be good to you. Expect to have a productive day. When your mind is set, positive, hopeful, expecting good things, that's when you'll go places that you've never dreamed. New doors will open. The right people, the right opportunities will come across your path. This day, how you started your day, what your thoughts were this morning, how you've carried yourself through this day, how you've been allowed to have encounters and experiences, some challenging, some more life enhancing, that pushed you forward another day. Enjoy the journey, not the destination. A lot of us delay our happiness. When I get to this level, when I get my degree, when I get the kids, when I get married, I'm gonna be happy. Enjoy the journey, enjoy the whole step, the whole process. Every day that you get up to strive for whatever it is you're after, you know I'm a goal-oriented guy. Yeah, absolutely. But you don't celebrate when you get to the finish line. Celebrate all along the way. Celebrate yeah. all along the way. Yeah, man. The difference between successful people and people that struggle are successful people exude joy. Jeff, if you're not a happy guy and other people don't want to hang out with right. you, why would they hang out with you? Right. If you're miserable and nobody wants to spend time with you, how are you ever going to get ahead? Yeah, it's Why complain? Everything that happens to you in your life can either be the best thing that ever happened to you or it could be the worst. It's about your perception of that. I want you to realize that this moment is a gift. Is a gift that you can use to shape the rest of your life.